It is the start of Severe Weather Awareness Week in the state, and some people are already preparing themselves. We got a plan. You know, something happens. We live in an apartment, but we know exactly where we're going, what we got to do to be safe. And we saw this weekend with the tornado outbreak to the south and west of us how important it is to be prepared. It's something I've never had to deal with, and uh, I don't want to ever have to deal with it again. But of course, there are no guarantees about not having to deal with it in the future. That's for sure. And some new reports today are showing how wild of a weekend it was. The Storm Prediction Center in Norman, Oklahoma, says about 75 tornadoes touched down during a 24 hour period. Between 7 in the morning on Saturday until 7 on Sunday, the twisters touched down in Kansas, Oklahoma, Iowa, and Nebraska. At least six people were killed. Some residents saw their homes turn to rubble. I really didn't know what to think at first. I mean, everything that we've ever worked for is right here, and it's all gone. A lot of residents were prepared for the storm. The National Weather Service issued a pretty stern warning about 24 hours out. The agency said the storm could be a high-end, life-threatening event. On Saturday morning, the Weather Service in Wichita, Kansas, told residents they could be killed if they were not underground or in a tornado shelter. We certainly caught a break with the storms in our area. Yeah, it was the same system, but uh, the bulk of right. which missed us. But when disaster does strike, will you have a plan in place to try to keep yourself and your family safe? Well, Fox 11's Chad Doran has more this evening on what to consider. West winds with some gusts up to 45 miles an hour possible. It's cold and windy. Not ideal conditions for a tornado. But oftentimes it isn't the tornado itself that poses the biggest threat. Severe thunderstorms that can't produce damage as bad as that from a tornado. It was just seven months ago when Appleton residents found that out firsthand. A major thunderstorm rolled through, knocking out power and knocking down trees all over the city. People who had damaged roofs, they had um, broken windows, they lost power for three days in some areas. Mm -hmm. And it wasn't a tornado, but the damage when people looked at it, they were amazed because it, it looked like an EF zero had come through. Even on days like today, gusty winds can send loose debris flying, causing damage and injury. That's why emergency management officials recommend having a weather radio close by to stay on top of the storm. We do listen for them when we do follow them. My husband's very big about, you know, um, definitely heading to the basement when we need to and we hear those sirens. A weather radio is just one part of an emergency kit to keep handy in case of severe weather. But it's also the first line of defense against a threatening storm. Especially right now, you can't be too careful. I mean, all the things that happened in the Midwest just last weekend. Damage that can happen in the blink of an eye. Waiting to seek shelter could be a costly mistake. That's what hurts and kills people is the flying debris. It's the glass. It's the wood. And that's why we really encourage people to take shelter. Because being prepared can be a life-saving decision. In Appleton, Chad Doran, Fox 11 News. Emergency management officials say your emergency kit should include food, water, blankets, flashlight, extra batteries. And they say don't forget to keep it somewhere you can get to it quickly.